I didn't make it at your service has to do. Please enter your name. My name is obviously Brock But Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from a distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor, and good friends since we were children. You know you had the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, we would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. Oh my god. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Yeah, yeah. I overslept again! But I caught you this time! Maybe, but. Oh, it's me. Maybe, but only I decide to stop and wait for you. <laughs> you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Brokebot. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird. They don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess I don't have to be... I guess you don't have to be in it. I guess you don't have to. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean if you, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Brookbat, have you decided on what club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I've been looking either. Eh, that's not true! You told me you were drawing a club this year! Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Oh my gosh, I'm not sure. She already likes to worry a little a little too much about me. When I'm perfectly content, just didn't bite on the average the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Um <laughs> I was talking about how I'm worried about you all learning how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now. But I die at the thought of you becoming a neat for a few years because you're not used to the real world. Does that mean like weeaboo or something? You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises so. Will you at least promise you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? 
More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease my mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. She sounds kind of like... Mango. The school day is as ordinary as ever. And it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. So Sayori wants me to check out, check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start the, with the anime club. Because I love anime so much. Huh? Sayori? Sorry, you must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm not the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch up. Oh. I thought I'd catch up. I thought I'd catch you. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, being a waste to me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me. If it's going to make you late, to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Now what? Well, you can come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> me, me. Sorry, but Sayori is the vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help us to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. No, I really like anime. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told you the club is. Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I'm bringing a new member. And not to keep any cupcakes and everything. Did you say cupcakes? Did you say cupcakes? <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she, I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as I planned all this out. Maybe she is a genius. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine. I'll stop flying for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! And thus. Today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs a section of the school I rarely visit. Being generally used to, used to, being generally used for third, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, screen, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Escape me in this situation. This club. It's full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S Sorry. Hmm. The girl.
girl with a sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made cupcakes according to Sayori. Sorry guys, no lewds this time. You could just ignore her. You could just ignore her when she's moody. You could just ignore her when she's moody. Sayori always Sayori says, says that quietly into my ear and turns back to the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet the both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right, that's right, that's right. It's great to see you again, Brookpot. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other, well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So, having her smile at me is gen- So, having her smile at me so genuinely- So genuinely feels a little, uh, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Brookbot! I made room for you and a table so you can get sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes! Girls have a few desks arranged on the table. As I already mentioned, it's been widened so that as I already, as I already mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray and reveals a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like cat little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. Sayori grabs the first one, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full as she already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Finally, bite down. <laughs> the icing is sweet but full of and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I haven't heard. Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Makeup for you or anything? Uh, I thought you technically did. Sari said, Well, maybe. But not wait. You know. Dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission.
It's a good thing I saved. 